I gotta admit, I am pretty exhausted. Thrilled to be going home, but exhausted. I was saying in yesterday's vlog that every time Jed and I would try and fall asleep, something would come up. Like either a nurse would come in to take my vitals, or respiratory would come for a breathing treatment, or I'd have to do blood work, or take oral pills, or they'd have to push IV medications and all weird hours of the night. So Jed and I didn't sleep very well, and I haven't been sleeping very well since I've been here in the hospital. And so going home today and sleeping next to each other in our own bed comfortably is going to be such a great way to feel rested and to de-stress from all this nonsense that is my crazy medical life. <laughs> and so also, like I said, resting in the hospital is kind of difficult. So when I go home, I like to take a few days off from life just to really rest all day at home and let my body recuperate from the admission. My heart monitor's off. I am no longer hooked up to fluids. They gave me my last dose of IV Benadryl, Pepsid, and all the other medications I've been taking here to help with these. <sighs> oh my gosh. Stop. Loser. <laughs> Shut up. Tell him to be quiet. <sighs> Out of breath. As you can tell, I'm still not feeling 100% from everything, but I'm thankful to be well enough to go home. The doctor came in and uh, asked if any significant events had happened since he saw me last time, which was yesterday. And a few hours after he left yesterday, I did have a minor reaction. And um, <clears throat> he said, since it was so minor and I felt comfortable going home, I didn't haven't needed Epi for like 24 or more than 48 hours now. And he said, I'm not going to sit here and pretend to know more about your complex medical conditions in your body. Obviously, you know what you're doing. And that made me feel really confident in him as a doctor that he was going to trust my word and how I'm feeling. So that's always really good. The two doctors who have seen me here have been awesome. So anyway, we are getting discharged. Um, we're all ready to go and packed up. We're just waiting for uh, the orders to be printed out. So thank the Lord. I signed the papers to leave and I actually slept for like two hours. It's been a while. I told you all things move slow here for discharge. It's nearly 1 p.m. and I was hoping for discharge by 11, but at least we're getting out of here. Judd, are you ready to go home? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Paul and Janice stopped by. Thanks, guys, and brought the dogs. Happy hard note. <laughs> okay, swallow up the chair. Yeah, she likes to be underneath the chair. <laughs> Good girl. I was ready to go. We're busting out of here. <laughs> I'm going home. In the car, mask off, we're free! Yay! Yeah. So in case you missed it in one of my previous vlogs, I didn't have to wear my Vogue mask in my room for my immunodeficiency. That's why I wear it to filter germs and help with my immunodeficiency because they have an immunodeficient protocol in the hospital. So my room was private and they kept it safe for me and when medical professionals came in they had to wear gloves and masks to keep me safe due to my immunodeficiency but traveling throughout the hospital there's lots of germs that could potentially be really dangerous for me which is why i have to wear the mask like outside of the house and especially in the hospital so that's why but so thankful to be done now we're going back to paul and janice's house to pick up our things that i left there like all my clothes and medical supplies from the past two weeks that i've been here and then we're going home babe exciting oh, stuff all right, people, I will miss you, Paul and Janice. Thank you for taking care of me so well the past two weeks and especially while I was in the hospital. Saved your life countless times. Pretty much. I love you guys very much. The feelings got mutual. Shush, Janice. Janice, you're gonna wave goodbye. The people will miss you. They have grown to love you. <laughs> Bye, guys, love you. Hi. Bye, Janice. Bye. Thank you so much for taking care of Judge, Jack and everybody. Clean up my language, so. Yeah. It's a family friendly Even video. He has but not on film. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> well, we are officially on the road, and Harlow's happy to be going home. Judd's happy to be going home. Yeah, he's hungry. Um, he hasn't eaten yet, and it's 2.15. I had a little bit of pancakes at the hospital, so we're gonna stop for some lunch on the way home. And I just want to give a big thank you to all of y'all for offering so much support to me and my loved ones through this whole thing. It meant so much to us. And 
I'm thankful for my loved ones who are here physically and all of y'all on the social media like YouTube world. It was just so nice to have so much support and to be able to lean on people. Such a huge blessing and also so thankful for God's timing. I really didn't know if I was going to make it out of here today to be able to go home with Chad, but I did and it all worked out. So lots to be thankful for. This life with crazy chronic illnesses and rare disorders can be really hectic sometimes, but I always trust in God to pull me through the uncertain uncertainty and yeah now we're just going home and i am so happy about that we are home we're all really glad to be here i'm really exhausted though i kind of pushed myself a bit too much and unpacked everything as soon as we got home i'm really anal about unpacking as soon as we get home and so that was too much for me and i'm exhausted but tomorrow I am going to rest and allow my body to recuperate from that four day hospital stay. So all day tomorrow, Monday, I am resting. Tuesday, I see my primary care doctor in the morning to go over my increasingly symptomatic gastroparesis and um, to also go over my hospital admission and to see if she can help me set up my IVIG infusions, the first few inpatient in one of my local hospitals here. And then in the afternoon, my home health company is sending a nurse to teach me how to apply my IV Phenergan because I was doing IV Zofran. Now I'm going to do IV Phenergan because insurance doesn't want to do IV Zofran anymore. Wednesday, I have my bone marrow biopsy. My mom's coming into town to take me because Judd can't get off work for that, unfortunately, but it's understandable. He already missed two weeks for the Army National Guard. And then on a Thursday, I see my POTS doctor for a follow-up. And on Friday, I see a rheumatologist that I've been on a wait list for for four months to look into small fiber neuropathy and maybe any other explanations for my terrible leg pains and muscular problems I've had since I was a child that no one could figure out. So, really busy week. Not a good way to start it off by uh, being in the hospital, but I'm just going to do my best. She's like, Carla, <laughs> what are you doing? You silly. So, yeah, I'm just uploading today's vlog. I've decided to do vlogs like most um, YouTubers do it a day behind. So today is the 9th, but I'm actually uploading the 8th happening. Um, it just is so much easier for me. And if I'm not feeling well and I fall behind on editing, I have a lot of more time to catch up, which I found really useful in the hospital because even though I like editing, sometimes I'd fall behind because I was just feeling so terrible. So this works out much better for me. I hope y'all are okay with it. And I think it's all right. So. Anyway, just thank you so much, all of y'all, for the support. I am going to relax a bit with uh, my dog, <laughs> who's like a Velcro dog right now, and Judd. Babe, where are you? Over her. Where's over her? Say hi to the peoples. Hello, peoples. Mm. We're just going to relax because we're both thoroughly exhausted. You didn't get much sleep at all, right? I don't have much sleep for two weeks. <laughs> yeah, the army does that to you. Hello. You did good, girl. You happy to be home? Oh, happy cuddly dog. That's where we are. In our own bed after two weeks. Well, you got a comfy bed for yeah, two weeks. That's true. Well, but not the last four days oh, in the hospital. Oh, boo -hoo. I gotta admit, I am pretty frustrated about the hospital situation because my body just can't hold it together for a little bit. So that's life with chronic illness. I'm just gonna focus on the positives like Judd's home and we're sleeping in our own bed tonight. So thank you everyone for sticking through the hard parts with us. This next week's gonna be pretty busy. I hope you have a good day at work. And we have to get my truck fixed this week. Yeah, his truck uh, needs a repair. So he's taking my car to work tomorrow, which is gonna force me to rest all day so it's it's my truck's secret plan to take care of jack see <laughs> even that even though you hate it, it it loves you i just don't like his truck because it's too loud and it bothers my sensory processing disorder. it's a diesel yeah it's a diesel <laughs> i love it <laughs> um but yeah so i will be resting a lot tomorrow um but we do have a few errands like i gotta pick up some medicine when he gets home and we have to get harlow's meat for her raw eating we have some meat here to give her tonight which is good but Anyways, all right, we're going to be done rambling. We're so tired, we're kind of delirious, so we're just really content to be in our own room, in our own bed. It's Ellie. <laughs> and that's it for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us on our adventure. Adios, amigos. <laughs>